explosive new book called Trump Chronically Unfaithful, and claims he told an inconsolable Melania not to worry after her nude modeling photos surfaced because he would soon lose the election. The explosive new book about President Donald Trump published Friday calls the president a chronically unfaithful husband and recounts an emotional private conversation between Donald and Melania Trump over publication of nude pictures of her. Author Michael Wolf writes in Fire and Fury that then-candidate Trump promised his wife he would not win the election after she became inconsolable following publication of nude modeling pictures of her taken early in her career. Melania Trump confronted her husband after the release of the outtake shots, taken when she was a little-known Slovenian model named Melania Knaus. An inconsolable Melania confronted her husband. Is this the future? She told him she wouldn't be able to take it, according to Wolf telling the photographs were published in July 2016, although Vault does not say when the confrontation took place. It is the latest sensational revelation from the book, which Trump tried to ban with a cease and desist letter sent by the lawyer who acted for Hall Hogan against Gawker, but which was published on Friday morning four days early in response. Trump hit out at the book as phony on Friday, having lambasted it as full of lies, misrepresentations and sources that don't exist on Thursday night. Meanwhile Vault thanked him for the publicity which saw the book shoot to the top of the Amazon charts and generate lines at bookstores. The First Lady had previously denied an early extract which claimed she wept on election night when it was clear he was winning and that it was not tears of joy. The newly published book goes further, saying that Trump made one promise he could keep to his wife, calling him a chronically unfaithful husband, during HTE confrontation. Trump responded in his fashion, will soup and set her up with lawyers, according to the book. But he was unaccountably contrite, too, Wolf writes. Just a little longer, he told her. It would all be over in November. Trump offered his wife a solemn guarantee, there was simply no way he would win, Wolf continues. And even for a chronically, he would say helplessly, unfaithful husband, this was one promise to his wife that he seemed sure to keep. Wolf offers no further corroboration for his claim that Trump was unfaithful, nor did he specify to which of Trump's three marriages he was referring. Trump's first marriage, to Ivana, ended because of his public affair with Martha Maples, with his mistress telling the New York Post it was the best sex I ever had. On Friday Wolf told NBC's Today Show he had spent a total of three hours with Trump in the campaign and after inauguration. That contradicted Trump's claim on Thursday night that Wolf had zero access. The White House has slammed the book as full of lies. The book also claims that everybody other than Melania assumed the photos could be traced back to Trump himself. The photos had been part of a photo shoot that had been published in a celebrity magazine called Susie. The New York Post published the outtakes during the campaign. Another passage describes the time, coming back on a plane with a billionaire friend who had brought along a foreign model where Trump was trying to move in on his friend's date. Trump urged a stop in Atlantic City, according to the telling, where he would give a tour of the casino he owned, although the friend said it would be full of white trash. The model wanted to know what the expression meant. They're people just like me, Trump said, only they're poor. In another section, Vault details how Trump would go about using jealousy and revenge to get his pal's wives into bed with him. In pursuing a friend's wife, he would try to persuade the wife that her husband was perhaps not what she thought, by having her secretly listen in on speakerphone for a meeting that Trump would have with her husband in his office. Trump would have his secretary ask the husband to come by his office where he would engage in more or less constant sexual banter, the book alleges. Do you still like having sex with your wife? How often? You must have had a better FK than your wife. Wolf's book suggests Trump would ask his friends whose wives he would pursue. Tell me about it. I have girls coming in from Los Angeles at 3 o'clock. We can go upstairs and have a great time. I promise, Trump would continue to go. All along, Trump would have his friend's wife on speakerphone, listening in, according to the book. Other passages in the book reveal claims about his perplexing marriage to Melania, including that the pair could go days without seeing other even when they were both at Trump's hour at the same time. Excerpts from Michael Wolf's new book Fire and Fury claim that Trump and his wife spent very little time together and that she often didn't know where he was prior to him becoming president. Donald Trump's marriage was perplexing to almost everybody around him, 
for it was, anyway, for those without private jets and many homes, Wolf writes. He and Melania spent relatively little time together. They could go days at a time without contact, even when they were both in Trump Tower. Often she did not know where he was, or take much notice of that fact. Her husband moved between residences as he would move between rooms. The book claims Melania also didn't know much about his business empire and that she faint interest in it. Trump, who has been married twice before, often referred to Melania as his trophy wife in front of other people. It further claims he had been absent for much of his 12-year-old son Barron's life. Melania was supposedly worried, according to the book, that her husband becoming president would destroy the sheltered life she had built for herself which was mostly focused on raising Barron. Trump, who quickly dubbed the book false and fake, took to Twitter late Thursday to say he turned down access to the author of the controversial book. I authorized zero access to White House actually turned him down many times for author of phony book. I never spoke to him for book, Trump tweeted. Full of lies, misrepresentations and sources that don't exist. Look at this guy's past and watch what happens to him and sloppy Steve. It comes after previously released excerpts had claimed Melania wept when Trump swept to presidential victory, ensuring she would take on the first lady role. The book claimed the future FLO to use was visibly upset on election night as things turned around for the Trump campaign. Melania was in tears, and not of joy, Wolf writes of the future FLO to use's reaction on election night. The author also noted that it looked like Trump himself had seen a ghost following the results. According to Wolf, the idea was that Trump would win by losing. Once he lost, Trump would be both insanely famous and a martyr to crooked Hillary, the author wrote. And it wouldn't work out well just for Trump. His daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner would be international celebrities after the campaign. His campaign's chief executive Steve Bannon would become the de facto head of the Tea Party movement and Kelly Ann Conway, Trump's campaign manager, would go on to be a cable news star. Wolf wrote. Melania Trump, who had been assured by her husband that he wouldn't become president, could return to inconspicuously launching, Wolf said. The book also says Melania seemed on the verge of tears during her husband's inauguration. Her White House spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham, forcefully denied the claims earlier this week. The book is clearly going to be sold in the bargain fiction section, Grisham said. Mrs. Trump supported her husband's decision to run for president and in fact, encouraged him to do so. She was confident he would win and was very happy when he did. It is no secret Melania delayed moving to Washington in 2017 until son Barrett was out of school for the summer. Since taking over the role of first lady, she has participated sporadically in public engagements. The book also insinuates that the president and first lady have separate bedrooms, being the first first couple to do so since John and Jackie Kennedy. Trump, Wolf said, wanted a lock for his room, much to the chagrin of the Secret Service. One of Trump's personal lawyers demanded on Thursday that the book be shelved because of what he said were maliciously false claims against the president. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders told reporters on Thursday that the book is full of false and fake information and that Trump clearly believes that it shouldn't be published. One of the key sources for the book was former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon, who the president is now furious and disgusted by, according to Huckabee Sanders. The press secretary also suggested that Bannon would no longer be invited socially to the White House.